Well, good afternoon. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. We're doing a test update here on the Hawaiian uh, fires that are happening now on the island of Maui. They're also happening on the big island of Hawaii, but many, many people have been impacted on Maui uh, in the town of Lahina. Um, and uh, some people have been reported to have had to have jumped in the ocean uh, to keep themselves safe, to actually save their lives. I want to show you what's going on here from a satellite perspective uh, so we can keep you updated. Um, what you see here on the full screen is so uh, you can see the islands uh, of Hawaii uh, to the north there. And on the lower left hand portion of your screen, you see Hurricane Dora. Hurricane Dora has 130 mile per hour winds. It's a category four hurricane. It's going to continue to move off to the west, well south of, Flo of, uh, of Hawaii. Uh, over the next several days, and it's going to dissipate in the cooler ocean waters of the Central Pacific Ocean. But what you can see that's uh, quite interesting are these uh, swirls that are coming off the big island of Hawaii to the uh, downwind of uh, of the uh, tropical uh, winds there. And you can see uh, there's a lot of clouds heading from the east to the west through the island chain of Hawaii. There is a strong high pressure system located to the north of the island chain. And then you have Hurricane Dora located to the southwest. That difference in pressure, there's a big difference in pressure, are making the winds very, very gusty and strong from the east to the west uh, throughout the Hawaiian islands. And they're being channeled through the mountain valleys, uh, what's called the Bernoulli effect. Um, and they're increasing in intensity uh, some winds have gusted over 60 miles per hour, knocked out power. Uh, the, the wildfires that have formed uh, have also uh, taken down uh, cellular connections. So many people, the only way they can dial 911 is through their landline or their phones. But this is the uh, Goes West satellite. You can see it uh, sequencing through its, uh, uh, its images here, and it's quite uh, amazing uh, what's going on as far as Hawaii is concerned. I'm going to switch over to Geo Collaborate so I can show you what's going on. You can see the Hawaiian island chain. Uh, those orange areas you see are satellite-derived hotspots uh, that are likely to be wildfires. As a matter of fact, here in Geo Collaborate, I'm going to zoom right in on Maui uh, so you can see a series of uh, wildfires uh, that are really expanding. Uh, and any one of these wildfires we can click on and get the confidence level uh, from the satellite that these are indeed wildfires. And you can see this confidence level 100%. This satellite derived um, intensity, this hotspot is indeed a wildfire. And uh, the closer we go uh, towards the coastline here, very high confidence, 100% confident uh, that this is a wildfire. Now I just want to uh, zoom down into here into uh, Lahaina. And uh, this is a town, it actually means uh, cruel sun uh, because of its uh, dry air. Uh, it's on the western side of these mountains. And when you get the trade winds blowing from east to west, you get down sloping here and warm winds coming into the town, uh, which makes uh, rain very difficult to get. So uh, this is a very dry area. And these wildfires that have uh, evolved um, have uh, distinct um, impacts on the towns. So they've been forming up here to the north and just blowing right down into town. So these are some of the latest hotspots that are burning. Some of these are likely from buildings that are on fire. 100% confidence in, uh, in the wildfire detection here. And uh, this is the area uh, where people have had to jump into the ocean now. Um, Lahaina is a, is a very popular place. Uh, Clint Eastwood had made movies there. Uh, Jurassic Park uh, was uh, filmed. Parts of Jurassic Park was filmed here. And uh, certainly a lot of history in this town, along with a lot of terrified people that have lost just about everything because of these wildfires. So I'd just like to take a moment and dive right into to, um, Maui and Lahaina. And you can see the satellite uh, animation. What I've done is I've taken two different channels from the satellite to show uh, the hot spots. So you can actually see the glow of the fires. This is the latest satellite image uh, sequence from the folks at uh, CIRA at Colorado State University. And you can see 
the glow of the wildfire in the central part of Maui and also uh, Lahina is right to the left or the west of the L in the beginning of the town names. So you can see it's still glowing with wildfire. And this is as of four o'clock Eastern time uh, this afternoon. It is August 9th and uh, the fires continue to burn. Some reports coming out indicate that the town has been basically uh, totally devastated. Uh, reports also coming in that six people have passed away in this wildfire. Now, we're going to be monitoring this over the next uh, several days through GeoCollaborate and through the uh, satellite services through NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also through NASA. And uh, NASA satellites are orbiting as are NOAA's. We can get hotspot detections to see where these wildfires are burning. This is just a quick update uh, from our studios here at Storm Center Communications and using GeoCollaborate, how we can take this information in from disparate sources, share it out in real time so it can get onto the desktops of people and they can interact with that data as well in real time. So uh, I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and GeoCollaborate. It is Wednesday, August 8th, 2023. Uh, we are with the people of Hawaii as they uh, live through this terrible experience of these wildfires that are being fueled uh, and fanned by strong easterly winds, uh, resulting as a combination of Hurricane Dora well to the southwest, Category 4 Hurricane Dora, and also a strong high-pressure system to the northeast. We'll keep you posted.